Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Tatiana Karanja and this is What's Cooking with Bosch and Zucchini Green Grocers. As a mom, it's really difficult when your child gets sick, especially when they can't digest anything. So it's really important for you to be able to make something that's comforting, nourishing and delicious. And one of my favourite things to make is roasted vegetable chicken soup. One of the places that I love to get my fresh ingredients is zucchini. Their vegetables and fruits are always fresh, always tasty, you always find what you're looking for. Yeah, and it's always just top quality, which is what I like to use for my daughter. For this recipe, I'm going to be roasting my vegetables in olive oil, and I'm going to be boiling my chicken, which I got at Naibas. And what I have done is actually asked the butchers to debone the chicken, which just makes it a lot easier for me to shred the chicken and separate the bones of the chicken later on. So what we have here on my chopping table is some olive oil, which I'll use to roast the vegetables in, two onions, garlic, two carrots, one turnip. I also love onion, that taste of onion, so I'm gonna use quite a bit of spring onion. Some thyme, I'm not gonna use all of this, maybe two sprigs of thyme, and celery. Before I start chopping up the vegetables, I'm gonna heat up my oven to 190 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna start by putting in some water into my pot, and we're gonna have about 12 cups of water, but let's be honest, I kind of just wing everything in the kitchen. So I'm just going to go with my gut feeling on this. So I'm going to add my chicken in there. The bones are super important in every recipe as it has a lot of nutrients. After that, I'm just going to add some bay leaves and put one big one in there. I'm going to have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And yeah, we're going to just let that boil while we make the rest of the soup. start chopping up my veggies to roast them. I'm going to put everything in a bowl so that I can start mixing it up at the end with the olive oil and whatever other ingredients I'd like and then put it on the tray from there. At the end of the day it's all going into one big pot so you don't really have to keep things separate. Um, I'm keeping the skin on on the turnip just because a lot of the nut nutrients are held in the skin. And a tip that I've learned for ginger is using a spoon so that you can get it into all these little places that you can't generally get to with a peeler. I like to use my hands, I mean, just get a bit messy in the kitchen. So just make sure that it's all covered with the salt, pepper and olive oil that you've put. Then place it on the tray. So while that's in the oven, I'm just going to have a quick look at how my chicken's doing. Ooh. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, so what I've done is taken the chicken out of the broth, and what I'm going to do is put the bones and the skin aside, and then start shredding my chicken to put it back into the broth. I take two forks, and I just pull the pieces apart, and it comes apart so nicely just because it's been boiling. Depending on how you like your chicken, um, you can shred it as small as you want, or you can leave it in big chunks. And then what I'm going to do is get my veggies out of the oven and mix that all together. And just literally the smell of all those ingredients together is so delicious. You already want to start eating it before you even put it into the pot. So once you're done with everything and you've mixed it all in, you want to give it a taste just to see what ingredients are missing. Like you might want to add a bit more pepper and salt, but of course that's up to you. Okay, so we're just going to plate this now and what I also really love is getting some delicious freshly made bread from tiramisu which you can get inside the zucchini ABC. Alternatively, you can also get them at Village Market. Okay. Oops. And yeah, there you have it. Grilled vegetable chicken soup with some bread from Tiramisu.